Hey everybody, Carl here. Welcome back to Trails in the Sky, second chapter. We're in the previous episode. We wrapped up our business here in size. We saved Jimmy from the penguin. We danced the Zamba with all of the penguins. And now we're getting a ticket and we're going to the capital. Welcome back. Hey, welcome. You're the party of bracers bound for Grand Soul, right? Yeah, that's us. Kilika sent over the fare payment already. You guys ready to check in? As usual, we should stick around and wait for the ship once we check in. You sure we're all done here in size? Uh, we I mean, there's some stuff we can say. Oh, well, once you're done with your business, just say the words. There's people here, right? We're gonna miss our chance to talk to the great people like Rutherford. Oh, are you also waiting for the Cecilia? I'm off on a bit of business to the capital. Well, it'll be for a short journey, but I hope we'll both have the chance to enjoy it. I feel like Rutherford is always with us. Who we got here? Oh, liberal news people? Fultz, did you get the details on Elmo? I bet you just spent all your time enjoying the baths. No, no way. It was crazy, seriously. Of all things, the hot springs have suddenly started boiling. The hot springs are boiling? Is that true? Yeah. For now, at least, I've got an early scoop put together. I didn't have much time, though, so it's not much more than an outline yet. All right, well done, then. Let's hurry up and turn it into a full article. Ah, uh, yeah, you do you, reporter people. <laughs> I've got a perfect shot of the factory ship taking off in my camera. Yes! Ah, oh, this photographic pilgrimage has been a overflowing with emotion and excitement at every turn. Crying, laughing, loving from afar. It's been a hell of a journey, that much is for certain. And we got your twin down here. Hey. Oh, it's Jimmy! It's been a while since I wrote a scheduled liner, so I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I hope it comes soon. Yeah, he's coming with us. The factory ship's out right now. I want her to go, too. Well, you're staying behind, Bartholomew. For now, let's get that ticket that I promised we were gonna get. Hey, ready to check in? Oh, that. Sorry, Gerald. I am... Hey, ready to check in? Let's go. All right. I'll contact the guild and let him know to send the rest of your party. A sales group checked in and waited for the next passenger ship. Ah, here it is. Let's go. Dun, dun, da, dun, dun. It's going to be good to see the capital again. I mean, it's... It's a big place. We got so many recipes and things to get and people to see. But also, it's it's the place to be right now with the signing ceremony right around the corner. Peace and the future of the kingdom. I mean, it's, it's in the balance here. So we got to make sure things go off without a hitch, especially when we got Sky Bandits on the loose. We got Kanone in the background trying to free the colonel. For now, though. Let's board to Cecilia. Da -da -dun. And let's float in the skies. Da -da -dun. Oh, Olivier. Here we are! Aboard the ship. Let's make a quick little savoroony right here. And let's talk. Hey, sis! I don't want to sit here. Let's go outside. I'll be good, I promise. Hey, sis. Okay, I'm gonna talk to sis. I said no. The last time you said that, you climbed the railing on the deck, didn't you? You're staying put right here, no matter what. I've got a good deal to make with Ambassador Cochran of Calvert, and this is the big one. I hope it goes well. Well, good luck. Ah, uh, next is the seat of Her Majesty herself, Gransel, the City of Beauty. It makes my heart rejoice to see it again. It also brings to mind that recent coup. Something like that must never happen again. Is that Jimmy? Alden. <laughs> Just you wait or say. Your lovely white frame will be mine in this camera. Oh boy, he's a bit too excited about the RSA. Are the passengers over there siblings? They've got uh, different personalities for siblings, I guess. I don't know, they seem really close. Looking at it makes you smile, you know? Yeah. I feel like they're they're people who need each other. Agate clearly needs he he likes having someone to protect. Tita, 
she's not really close with family, right? All she has is the professor, because her, her parents are out traveling, so it's just kind of a happy little happy little thing they got going. And of course, we've adopted Tita. That's, that's also a thing. If you need to shop in the capital, really the only stop you need to make is Edel Department Store. Sure, it isn't as big as Bose Market, but their merchandise is the best in the kingdom. Ah, if I had the time and mirror, I'd love to stop in and shop till I drop. Yeah, not everybody has mirror like me. Check it. 40k. <laughs> Hi, Estelle. What's up, Estelle? You're creeping around the ship again? Man, you just cannot stay still, can you? Oh, come on. I'm not a cat in a carrier or something. I just... <laughs> yeah, I do get kind of antsy having to sit down and wait. I thought you flew to Little Ockle, though. That's a good half day on an airship, at least. You must have worn a rut in the deck. Uh, well, I was asleep for both of the trips, actually. I was so nervous to be going that I couldn't sleep the night before, and coming back, I was wiped out from that last test. I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> That's definitely an Estelle thing to do. Hmm, leaving the country? I'd really like to do that someday, too. Maybe I could even go visit mom and dad. Oh, yeah. Tita, your mom and dad are out of the country working, right? Yeah. They're helping to establish orbital technology in places that don't have it yet. They've been gone for two years. Wow, that is a long time. I hope they write you letters or something, at least. <laughs> yeah, once every month. I, um, wrote about you last time, Estelle, and in the reply, they said to give you their regards. Aw, that's sweet of them. So what kind of people are your parents, Tita? Is your mom like you? I bet she is. Like me? I don't think so. Mom's got a really, um, powerful personality, I guess. <laughs> she and Grandpa kind of end up fighting and wrestling a lot over stuff. <laughs> wrestling? Oh, but they usually get along really well. Dad says their fighting is just a way they express their love. <laughs> well, uh... Okay. So what's your dad like then? He's not like mom at all. He's sort of quiet and reliable, I guess. He was a bracer until about 10 years ago. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Real serious. I actually talked to Gramps, Gra Gramps about that, and Dan was a real deal back in his day. The professor said he had to retire and become an engineer due to an injury of some sort. Huh, okay. They sound great. I'd love to meet them when they get back. Yeah, when they do, come over to play and I'll introduce you. Agate, you'll have to meet them too. Huh? Well, I would have to meet your folks. Well, you get along really well with Grandpa. And I wrote a lot about you and, and Mom and Dad said in their reply that they really want to meet you. Fold. Oh, <laughs> Time to pay the piper, huh? Um... If you don't want to, Agate, you don't have to. Nah, it's fine. Look, I'll stop by and say hi to them if I'm ever in size for work, okay? <laughs> okay. That's so wholesome. I actually didn't know her father was a bracer. At least I, don't, I didn't remember. That's great. Oh, yeah, Estelle. Do you know why the wind's nice and gentle out on the deck? Uh, isn't it just like that? Oh, no. At the speed we're going, the wind should be really strong. We wouldn't be able to hear each other. We get swept off the deck, in fact. Wait, seriously? Ain't there some bit of the airship that prevents that? I think I heard about that once. Uh-huh. It's a side effect of the flight field that keeps the ship in the air. An horrible flight engine envelops the ship in a field that counteracts gravity, you see. It also has an anti-inertial effect on anything striking the field. And that includes particles that make up the winds. Agate, are you following any of this? You're kidding, right? But generating a flight field takes a lot of power. You need a really high output orbital engine to create the field at all. Okay. So that's why people always say that it's the engine that determines what an airship can do. Ah, okay. So that's why everyone's made such a fuss about that new engine for the Royal Airship. Ain't that thing supposed to be absolutely crazy in terms of how strong it is? Uh-huh. 
Grandpa showed me the spec sheet for it, and its capabilities are way beyond existing engines. Grandpa and the rest of the team at the Central Factory worked really hard on it. <laughs> I hope I get to see it someday. Those are such a great tidbit. The last time I came to the capital, I saw the RSA. It's really, really pretty. <laughs> I wonder if we'll see it again. Something with the army, huh? If they're calling us out to the capital, then it's gotta be something they don't want getting out. I gotta keep an eye out for the society, too. We better keep our guard up. Uh, great. Let's go down below. Let's talk to the captain. Hello, miss. Having a look around the ship? We're just bored. We're above the Trad Plains at the moment. The weather's fantastic. Why not step out on deck and catch the view? Maybe I will. Helm, we're a bit high. Can you drop us down slightly? Let's reduce altitude now before we get caught in an air current, please. La da la. Yes, affirmative. Immediately restoring correct altitude. Ba da dum ba bum bum. All right. He's, 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 enjoying, he's enjoying life. It's good for him. Oh, ho, oh, Gransel's up next, isn't it? It is. Yikes. I need to start getting stuff ready to unload when we dock. We got so much cargo to offload in Gransel. Oh, yeah, look at look at all of this. It's, it's, it's a mess. It's a, well, it's an organized mess. But it's, it's a lot of work. Let's go upstairs. It's up here. Currently to your right is the front of the Annenberg Wall. It has a long and storied history, which dates back to before the birth of the Liberal Kingdom. According to some theories, it's linked to the ancient Sumerian civilization, but the truth of the matter is unclear. Hey, Jimmy! Whoa! So that's the fort! If it really is a ruin, then maybe there's some hidden treasure inside that nobody knows about! No. Oh. So about that non-aggression pact that's being signed... I heard that on the day of the signing, no civilians are being allowed into the villa where the ceremony is being held. Not surprising given that it hasn't been that long since the detestable coup, but... Would have been nice to see the moment it was signed, you know? No, that sounds like a security nightmare. Those earthquakes in size were quite a surprise. To be so localized and happening in so many different places like that. I've been around the block a few times, but I've never seen anything like that. Oh right, the Ruan mayoral election is coming up. It's between Norman, who's promoting tourism, and Poros, who's been promoting the harbor business. I wonder which candidate will get elected. Even if you're not a citizen of Ruan, still worth taking a note of. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think Murray for mayor. Really, Murray for mayor. He's dependable. You need a boat? Murray's got your back. I think maybe that's his only quality, but still. Murray for mayor. Mm. Um, Sin? Ah, Estelle. What is it? Need me for something? Oh, uh, no, not really. It's just... You kind of looked like you were lost in thought. Hmm, yes. Just remembering the past a bit is all. With that sunglasses wolf guy, right? Yeah. We last met six years ago. At first it felt like longer, but it hasn't been that long, you know? I guess not. So that man was your senior at your, um, dojo, right? What kind of martial artist is he, anyway? Well... Simply put, he's a natural. His reflexes are perfect, and his sense for battle is keen. When I knew him, he kept himself in perfect shape, and it looks like that's still true today. But on top of all that, he knows how to utilize his chi exactly. In every sense, he is the cut above the normal man. Yeah, his moves? I've, I've never seen anything like that. I think he might even be faster and stronger in some ways than that Lawrence guy. And that's scary. Or I think you might be right, yeah. When we were students, I admired that strength of his. Envied it, even. At least I did until six years ago. When he killed our mentor and master of the dojo, Ryuga. What? He... he killed his own... Ah, oh, sorry. I'm getting ahead of it. They both agreed to the fight, mind. 
Master Ruga had long been aware of the darkness in Walter's heart. He'd grown drunk on his own power and hungered for still more. Master constantly rebuked him for his actions and reminded him what the proper heart of a martial artist is supposed to be. The living fist of the Taito style that seeks to perfect oneself through the medium of honorable combat. The living fist, huh? That is a neat ring to it. Ultimately, though, Walter never listened. He relished a power which the most aggressive side of Taito style gave him. <laughs> the aggressive side? Martial arts are used in combat, and so no one can deny that they can be used to hurt people as much as defend them. And while there are many who train for the latter purpose, there are also those who seek to do the former. Those who do eventually become monsters, whose fists exist only to kill. We call this side of Taito the Murderer's Fist. The... what? In the end, Master Ryuga challenged Walter as he was preparing to leave the dojo to pursue that path. They fought a duel to the death over it, and Master lost. I was the observer for that match. I could do nothing but watch. Sin? Well, that's what happened, and I've been looking for Walter off and on ever since. The thing would meet here, now, in the burl, though. This is a hand of she who dwells above at work, mark my words. Oh, sorry, Estelle. I didn't mean to chew your head off, or... Wait, was it here? <laughs> no, you didn't chew anything. Thanks for telling me. But, Sin? You're... Searching for Walter to get revenge, right? <laughs> no, no, I... Like I said, their match was fairly fought. Master knew what could happen when he challenged Walter. There's no revenge to take. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. But then, why are you looking for him? Um, there's something I want to confirm. Something to... Huh? Now I really don't get it. <laughs> it's uh, kind of embarrassing. Either way, I'm still too inexperienced to find out. I hope I can sharpen myself by helping you. I see. Yeah. Well then, I hope you can keep up, Sin. We'll see, Estelle. You're the one with the shorter legs. That was lovely. And I love the fact that one of the Ouroboros is so tied to your backstory, Sin. It, it, it really helps flesh out you, too. Oh, yeah. Speaking of... Um, the, the story, not my legs. I, I think I get what's going on between you and Walter. But how does Killika fit into all this? Um, it's not really my place to say. I'll only say this much. Killika is, was, Master Ryuga's daughter. Oh. I think you can fill in the rest yourself for now, yeah? She'll probably tell you the full story someday. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Anyway, once we get to the capital, I should show my face at the Calvardian Embassy. Can't wait too long or Elsa's gonna give me hell. Elsa? That wouldn't be a strict, harsh-looking woman with glasses, would it? Huh? You know Elsa Cochran? <laughs> I've only seen her briefly, really. We were at the landing port and she was in the middle of an argument with the Imperial Ambassador. Ah, yes, she's not what I would call a fan of Erebonia. She's quite confident and intelligent, usually, but... Erebonia and their nobility tend to make her see red. I can kind of understand that, I guess. That's such... I, I so look forward to the freaking Calvert arc sometime in the future. Five years from now, I don't know. This is... I'm just... I'm in this for the long haul, baby. And I love it. Oh, Olivier. Soothe my soul, please. Faults, what's up? Oh... <sighs> I wish I could have spent more time in the hot springs. Noticia. Magazine reporters don't get any breaks. Speedy reporting is our lifeblood. 
and you can bet I'll have my latest report written up the instant we hit the dock. Ah, uh, yeah. I feel like I've, I've, I've struggled a bit with Olivier's voice lately. I don't know, I just... And he's very close to Blue Blanc, too. Like, I, I don't know if it's apparent. It might be very apparent, but I'm like... I'm, I'm trying to, like, refine the voice or, like, play around with the voices. Some, I feel like I'm starting to, like, get down now. Like, Agate's pretty easy. Sin's starting to become easy. But Olivier's still a little... You're an enigma, my friends. Ah, Estelle, my fair rose. Welcome to Olivier Lenheim's lovely solo recital. Oh, Adios, he escaped his chair. Chloe, remember, you have a sword and you know how to use it. <laughs> well, I saw him playing when I stepped out onto the deck, so I came by to listen for a little while. He really is exceptionally talented. Mm, your compliments do me the greatest honor, your highness. If you wish, when we arrive at the capital, I could treat you to a private concert. Scree? Hmm? Uh, seek, yes, that did not necessarily mean anything beyond the obvious. Oh, you meant something else by private concert, Olivier. Huh. Well, if you wish for it to mean something more, my princess, it certainly could. Scree! What? Bird! Bird! Oh, please stop, Seek. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. <laughs> Good job, Seek. You're a girl's best friend. Oh, oh. That was terrifying. <laughs> I'm sorry, Olivier. I was just Sieg expressing his love. I actually think he likes you on the whole, Olivier. Scree! I shall bear his peck on my cheek with pride, then. I must admit, I did not expect your escort to be so diligent. He is as vigilant as any of the human royal guards. <laughs> it depends on who I'm dealing with, I think. You really are totally indiscriminate, aren't you, Olivier? Look, don't try to put the moves on Chloe in the capital, okay? Julia would, like, fire you out of a cannon into the sun, if you even think about it. Ah, yes, that cold, dignified lady officer. <laughs> she, too, caught my eye during the coup. The sort of woman who can take on ten men. She is quite something. Hmm, should the chance present itself, I should endear myself to her. Um... Oh? What's wrong, Chloe? It, um, might not be a good idea to joke about such things around Julia, Olivier. I remember once there was a party at the castle, and a man was drunk and bothering us. Julia, um, took her sword and his clothes, well... What? Y you mean she, um, defrocked him? Uh -huh. uh, I'll take that under consideration. It's <laughs> great. I would presume nothing less than terrifying from the Lady Knight who defines the Royal Guard. But know this: the flames from which my passion first was kindled, so first was kindled, shall ne'er fade. Even if I must be stripped naked before her, I shall serenade her with naught but my lute in hand. I so did not need that mental image. Thanks, Olivier. <laughs> I would presume nothing less terrifying. Oh. You know, Le Pearl News wrote an article about that party. Julia gained a lot of, um, admirers from high society to the poorest commoner. I've always felt a little sorry for the man involved, though. Seriously? Don't you think he got what he deserved? Yeah. Screw that guy. He will now forever be... The, the the drunken nudes. Ding dong. Yep. Thank you for flying with us today. We will be arriving in Grantsel shortly. Please be aware that there may be turbulence while landing, so we ask that all passengers take their seats. We're back, baby. Oh, the music. We got to see this briefly in the prologue, but now it's proper Grantsel time. Alrighty. We 
wait, where was that old woman? I don't remember her. Was she on the ship? She was hiding away in the cargo holds. She's a stowaway. She didn't pay. All right, no earthquake. Pretty good. Much, uh, much smoother arrival than in size. And here we are, back in the capital again. Feels pretty good. Guess we better check in with the guild branch first, huh? Yeah, let's go hear from Elnan what's what. I did notice that a certain white ship isn't in port today. The Arce, I believe it was. Huh? You're right. That's the royal family's personal cruiser, right? It might be out on a mission or something. If I recall, the Arce should be at Lyston Fortress at the moment. It's being fitted with a new engine Professor Russell and his colleagues have been working on. Oh yeah, Gustav said he'd be flying out to Lyston on the factory's airship. Oh, I see. So that awesome ship is being made even more awesome? I seriously can't wait to see that. They're just changing the engine, so I doubt the exterior will change much. But it'll totally be the world's fastest airship, that's for sure. Hey, Elnan. Welcome, everyone, and thank you for coming. I have read the reports from Ruan and Sais. Good work, truly. You've done well in opposing the society thus far. I doubt the guys we fought would agree. Both that masked man and the guy with sunglasses didn't really seem to take it or us seriously. Even knowing that the society is moving is valuable, Estelle. Don't disparage yourself. Your successes should make the Royal Army trust us even further. So, speaking of which, what does the army want with us? Something society related? Yes, about that. It seems they don't want to discuss it over the phone. An army official will be coming by soon to explain the situation in person. Hmm, something that cannot be discussed by phone, they say. What they mean is that they do not wish to risk any unwelcome ears listening in on the call. Wait, you can do that? Oh yes, it's quite possible. Telephones are convenient, but with the right equipment, intercepting a conversation signal is not very difficult. We use a scrambling device between branches to prevent interception of guild business. Unfortunately, the uh, scrambling doesn't work with the army for some reason. Yes, the army uses a different system. All calls between us are thus completely open. Well, that's ducky. Why can't the army just share a mixer scrambler thingamajigger with us? We are working together, but we're still an international citizens group and they're a national defense force. As much as your father trusts us, Estelle, I don't think you can give us something so sensitive so easily. Hang on, Elnan. It still sounds like you got some idea what this is all about. Otherwise, you wouldn't have bothered calling us out of size. Ah, am I being that transparent? I can only hazard a guess, really, but... I believe it's very likely that this has to do with the signing of the Non-Aggression Pact. The Non-Aggression Pact? I remember hearing something about that. What exactly is going on with that anyway? <laughs> Estelle is just a perfect audience surrogate. Just constantly oblivious so things have to be explained to her. <laughs> it is a treaty affecting the Burl, Erebonia, and Calvert proposed by Grandmother. In short, it says all countries involved will attempt at all times to solve international disputes without resorting to force. Whoa! So, like, it'll end war? Well, no, there's no true enforcement mechanism beyond simply being known as a treaty breaker, so enforcing it like that would be difficult. It should still be something of a deterrent, though, and it will hopefully promote more friendly relations between ourselves and others. Okay, I get it. Queen Alicia does it again. She's got a good eye for this kind of thing. It'd be neat if that made the countries nicer to each other. The pact is being signed in a large ceremony at the Urbe Royal Villa next weekend. Dignitaries from all three nations will be attending, and the media is paying close attention. Which is to say, they may as well have painted a sign on the roof of the villa saying, Ouroboros, please attack us. Oh, yeah, that could really get ugly. Hmm, huh. got our work cut out for us then. Guess we just wait here for the army official for now. Correct. We do have some time before he's scheduled to arrive, so feel free to... 
Oh, pardon me a moment. Hello, this is the Gramsville Bracer Guild branch. Yes? Yes. Uh, uh, I see. Uh, yes. Uh, that certainly is a problem. Just a moment, please. Is that the army on the phone? No, it's a member of the Urbe Royal Villa staff. They seem to have a lost child from one of the tourists in their care. Unfortunately, they can't seem to actually locate her parents. Uh, that's awful! Do they want us to help? <laughs> Just so, your highness. They've asked for our aid in locating the child's parents or guardians. There's still some time before our guest from the army is due to arrive. Would you mind taking care of this? <laughs> sure, we'd be glad to. You're in, right, Agate? Can't say no to a kid in need. Let's head out. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Yes, we have a team of bracers we can dispatch immediately. And your name, sir? I yes, understood. Well then, our bracers will be over as soon as they are able. I'm still not sure if I want to place Elnan's... Because uh, Elnan is a man, but I've mistaken him for a woman before because of the ponytail. Guys can have ponytails? I was just a little confused. So his voice is kind of like a, a, a middle thing right now. The last child is in the charge of a butler named Raymond. Oh, we know him. Once you arrive at the villa, inquire with him. All right, then. Wait a sec. Raymond, why does that ring a bell? Wasn't he the one butler we found? You know, when we saved Chloe during the coup, it was hiding under a counter. <laughs> right, Niall's friend. Ah, good. If you know him, that should make things even easier. Well then, good luck. Please form your party. I, since we're gonna go save a child, I want Tita with us. I, it, that's just how I want it to be. But, so I'm gonna take right. Sin and... Okay, Sin and Tita. Okay. Then, Sin, do you got something on you that I want to take away? Maybe just swap out some of these, just like this. You never know. And then, orbment-wise, do you got something super cool? You, you got that. Oh, sorry, I meant to remove that quartz. That's probably good. Then we're gonna fill Tita up with some good stuff right here. Uh, EP cuts. She could take some more space quartz. Didn't I get like a new really fun space? Oh, Clo has that one. Yeah, I should, I should let her keep that. Move. Why do I have a move quartz? That's kind of... That's kind of yucky. I want to hit quartz. Don't stop. Stop missing things, Agate. You're, you're making us look bad. Let's see. Let's do plus one movement. She has very little movement after all. Tita. I want blind on you since that's super fun. Luck. And... Attack two wouldn't be a miss. Ba -dum -bum -bum. But just a bit of defense. Defense one is kind of... Do I not have a better... Yeah, let's, let's take a defense. Defense two right here. Just to give her a little bit of protection. She could toss up Earth Guard on herself. Possibly even a little heal. That might be. Is there anything else I would want on her? Maybe a hit. Yeah, I'm just going to do hit on her. Okay, Tidorino. Get those Gemini boots on. You got the long barrel. And I want something that prevents... Mm, you're gonna get the soft knit cap back on. Because it makes you look good. Alright, let's change that party. Let's get Clo. Oh, hey guys, anything I can help with? Indeed. Clo Tita. That's how it's gonna be. Looking fine. So, with that, the gang is ready to go. Apparently, a butler named Raymond is keeping an eye on the lost child. Once you get to the royal villa, ask for him. Yeah, we'll do. Urbe Scenic Route Monster. A dangerous monster, the Chronocider, has been spotted along the Urbe Scenic Route. The monster possesses extremely thick skin and has dizzying attacks. Respond equipped with arts. Gransel Sewer Monster. A dangerous monster, Mad Tree, has been seen in the Gransel Sewers. Enter the West Block Entrance. Specializes in blood-sucking attacks. That's no good. All right. Welcome back to Gransel, everybody! I feel like doing just a 
Bit of a save just to celebrate that we're here in the big city. Now, let's let's walk the streets. Let's do the talkie talkies. That's really going to be, I think the rest of this episode is going to be getting reacquainted with the city, seeing what's new, buying the foods and having a good time. So let's start with freaking Nana. This is the center of Liberal, the royal capital Gransel. We might have had a coup d'etat not too long ago, but it's all back to normal now. Indeed, what's for sale? A sweet crepe. Move and speed plus. Dude, I'll take it. A mystery crepe. Oh, low calorie despite the contents? That is truly a mystery. I'll buy those immediately. I will put those in my mouth. Because otherwise I'm definitely going to forget. So we got the mystery crepe right here. Tita, we're going to feed you crepes. Just like that. And then we're going to see if we can actually make them. Mystery crepe right here. Easy. Pe oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, boy. Mm-mm. Made me want a crepe. Then we're going to do a sweet crepe. Ah, yeah. Very flat. But that's... That's all right. That's those two made. Perfect. Hey, kids. I think this... You're dick. You're... Uh, don't know. Rally. The likelihood Troy will be late for our agreed time is 83%. He's always getting sidetracked by something. Not like he's gonna be any different today. Troy's late. Again. I wanna get out to the harbor and play. <gasps> harbor? We haven't been able to go to the harbor before. This is huge. Alright, hey, popcorn man. Gaspard. Hey, welcome to the capital. Why not have some popcorn while you're taking a break? I just might. Mobility popcorn, a popular snack so airy you'll feel lighter if you eat it. I'll make that. Also, how am I supposed to make popcorn on the go? I'm curious about this recipe right here. Mobility popcorn. There we go. Tita, have some popcorn too. Poor girl's gonna be sick. Uh, mobility popcorn. Kibble salt, olive oil, and prickled seeds. Alright, um... Don't ask me how we just throw that together, but here we go. Make a... Make popcorn. Wonderful. In my fantasy RPG. It's more likely than you think. Okay. Hello. Lovely weather we're having. When the weather's this nice, you can't help but feel nice too. That's so wholesome. If you want to go to the Royal Villa, it's right out that gate there and south along the Royal Avenue. When you hit the fork in the road at the guidepost, next, head towards the Garuna Gates. Then, once you hit the next fork, head south and you should reach the Royal Villa. You shouldn't get lost as long as you make sure to read the guidepost carefully. Oh, look out for the monsters! They'll eat you! She really should have added that. What's up? Sammy. Oh, I'm so hungry, I feel like I could die. <laughs> Alright, let's have something to eat, shall we? I don't remember Sammy and Jane at all. I think they might be new. A new cute couple in town? Okay, okay. Hey, uh, you're the law, you're the- Troy! Mmm, it smells so good. Huh? I feel like I said I'd do something. Uh, what was it? You already forgot, you punk. Bum, 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 bum. The factory in this town is a very nice repairman. <coughs> Alright, cool. Tran, apparently the pianist who was frequenting that bar there until recently played some amazing performances. It was a strange one, but I think his skills at least were the real deal. Ah, yes. Olivier. He's probably talking about the guy in the top floor of the quartz shop. And yeah, he did do good service for his guests. For now, there's only one place I'm going to check out. One place in my heart. Fisherman's Guild with Mr. Fisher. Ahem. Welcome to the Fisherman's Guild. I am Fisher, or the Fishing Baron as they call me. Ha ha ha. Are you new applicants? If you like fishing, you're more than welcome. Yes. Yes, I am... Let me join. I can't join? Preposterous. Hey, Percy. You know about those guardian fish? They're special to each region. I'd sure like to be able to fish one up myself someday. Yeah, I, w I would too, but we're gonna need new rods. Hey, Lloyd. Oh. Hey there. Been a while, hasn't it? Oh, Lloyd. Hey. So you're back from Ruan? How's the fishing been? Getting some use out of that rod I gave you? Kinda. I go in between work when I can. Skilled folk like you are always welcome at the Fisherman's Guilds. 
If you ever want to join, you let Mr. Fisher know any old time. I'm sure he'll be overjoyed to have a new comrade. Uh, <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Well, that's just a lie. Mr. Fisher hates me. That's fine. We'll be back for more fishing-related fun later on. The South Block here has the Bracer Guild and lots of shops. The North Block has the Kingdom's largest hotel, and further north of that is Grandsville Castle. The West Block's known for liberal news and a cathedral. And the East Block's got embassies from neighboring countries, the Grand Arena, and a department store. Right, right, I forgot an important point. On the other side of the West Block, there's a port in the warehouse district. It was closed off during the coup d'etat. No one could get in. But now it's open. Alright, let's go to the Winged Orbal Fa Wingard Orbal Factory. Doesn't matter how busy he is, Tom will never refuse a request. Even though we'd make a lot more selling a new product than doing some stupid repairs. I wish Tom would start thinking about profits first. No, customers first. That's his deal. It's nothing more super exciting we can do, I do believe. We got some more spicy quartz for sale now, though. Another def defense three. Dude, I take it back. I'll buy that in a jiffy. I also got something like attack three. Buy that too. But I don't. I don't quite have. Oh, dude, I can get stuff like action three. I'm gonna need so much. Okay, I'm gonna need to be saving up on some time sepith here. Let's keep that in mind. I get EP3, but I don't, I don't care much for them. I feel like using those EP plus percentage ones, they don't really do much when you have low EP, right? It, it's like I'm like getting one more cast a tier or something. It's just, it just doesn't feel worth it. All right. Looking at some of the quartz that we just got. Yeah, we were due for some upgrades here. Agate, who wants defense three? Yeah, Tita, let's go. Tita time! Dun 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 dun. Just like that. I only have hit one on you? Is there anything that would be useful? Maybe I should just I should just do impede here. Because that could give that would give her stuff like aerial. And that's just nice to have. Oh, and a new mind? Oh, there's so much I want right now. Hey, welcome! This is the repairs desk. If you got a broken ornament, I can fix it for you here. You're a good guy, Tom. But for now, knowing that, let's keep our eyes open for any good chance of getting our hand on some of that Sepith. Wise arms and guards. Oh, you're... You're the team of bracers that won the martial arts competition. Haha, <laughs> welcome. Welcome indeed. Chaley is just such a good, good, good lass all around. Let's buy ourselves a new staff. Let's buy a... Do you want to buy a salamander? You know, for now, I'm just going to buy weapons for the people currently with me. Long saber for Klo. Dynast Edge. The S Launcher. Very cool all around. Now, fiber suit. Full body defensive wear. Made from special woven fibers. That is going to be a big boost for people like Tita. Uh, but it's going to be super big decks down for Agate. Damn, that's not, that's not desired. And ADF down for... It's really only good for Tita, so we're gonna buy one. Simple as that. Don't, don't have to make it complicated. Pull weapon. Dynast Edge. Long Saber. An S Launcher. And a Fiber Suit. Looking good. Yeah, I value defense on her. Now, let's sell off some of these. I'm glad we're in a new chapter. We, we've gotten a quite high level... Uh, to be in the other one. Like, it's starting to be a little... We were barely getting any, like, rewards from battle since we were so high, but now the difficulty is going to be cranked up a bit. The birthday celebration's over, and the town's regained its calm. It's quite quiet, sure is nice. Yeah, it's just a different vibe. And with the non-aggression pact signing, I'm sure it'll just keep being calm and safe. Hello, Ralph. My wife can't stop thinking about the martial arts competition. I don't mind her thinking about the martial arts competition next year, sure. But on the other hand, she could help out with a few of the chores while she's thinking about it. Oh no, Ralph's back to the same dilemma. I can't wait until next year. I can't wait for the next martial arts competition. Well, it's... <sighs> All right, I'll just let her have it. She has something to be excited about. That's great. I should support her. 
Menu, mocking pie, tomato sandwich, chef's recommendation, seafood hot pots, great. During the coup d'etat, a lot of officials and servants got kicked out of the castle. Now those people are all busy back at work. Cleaning up after such an event's hard, though, so things won't go back to normal right away. Hmm. Checks out. Nobody's enjoying food up here. We're gonna enjoy food down here. Seafood hot pots. Learn that recipe. Mm -mm. Let's have a look at that. I need fish fillets. Wow, I can't make that. Soup overflowing with ocean extract warms the cockles. Ah, yes. Mocking pie. A machine-made pie so delicate that it looks handmade. I'll buy that. Cures confused. Pretty cheap. Tomato sandwich. Nice. That's a good CP boost. But we've made that before. I'll uh, eat that mocking pie of yours, though. Let's get it right here. There we go. <laughs> More food for tea. Now she's like, Estelle, please no. I've had so much. Mocking pie. Let's go. Gummy eyeball? Wait. What part of the pie needs a gummy eyeball? Why would you add that? The burly and cuisine, man. Alright, let's go to the favorite. Oh, what's your name? Like Bill or something short. Yeah. Today's weather is so good. I think I'd like to go on a walk with my beloved at the Royal Villa. That's not the first time he's talked about the weather, right? I think in the other game, too, I commented on him talking about the weather. My husband and I used to take walks to the villa quite often. We haven't gone since the coup d'etat, though. Well, maybe now's the chance. Maybe we could join the party, you know? We could team up. Perfect. That's South Block checked out. Let's go West Block. Liberal news! Maybe Niles here. I mean, he's probably getting a scoop somewhere, but we'll see. Gus. Gus is new. I do not remember Gus. You can see the whole West Block from here. It's my favorite spot. Hey. Hello, how are you feeling? In this block, there's a cathedral, the liberal news, and a great cafe. If you want to have a quiet, sophisticated experience, there's no block better than West Block. That's what they say. No block better than West Block. Bum, 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 bum. Where's my dude? My favorite pilgriming man. Um, whose name is freaking... I'm trying to think. I give up. Cigaro! My wife runs the department store in the East Block. What about me, you ask? Hmm, I guess I'm something of a priest. I'm not a house husband. Nope, not at all. <sighs> well, he does change his avatar whenever he goes to church. I remember that much. The duality of man. All right, so... Uh, Dun Duncan, I think, was in that house. He was always complaining that he couldn't work at the harbor, so I guess now he's actually working at the harbor. Calling yourself a maiden? How very like you. A rice curry lunch for two young maidens at an outdoor cafe. <laughs> How very like us. <laughs> wow. All right. Hello. Welcome to the Liberal News Service. The first floor here is reception, and the second floor is our editorial room. Let's go then. How are things? Ah, uh, Niall takes top posting this time, huh? Ultimately, we don't really know the reason why Elmo's hot springs were boiling. The editor-in-chief told me it was a real half-assed article. Huh. Aw. Bruant's new mayor decided? Huh. Kinda tame coming from Niall, but it's not bad. All right, too bad for Noticia, but this looks like it'll be our next headline. <laughs> looks like they're in a meeting. All right, looks like Niall's doing a scoop in Ruan. I guess that makes sense, too. The next mayor decided, but who is it? Damn, guess I gotta buy the liberal news to find out. Oh, you guys are bracers? You're welcome to enter the sewers, but it's dark inside, so be careful. Don't you worry about a thing. We'll go there to kill a monster, but first, I got people to talk to. My husband's been working his butt off at the harbor ever since he blew all our savings at the casino in Ruan. I guess the shock of losing that much finally made him see the error of his ways. Or not. I want to believe that, but I won't take my eyes off of him just yet. There's a silver lining. It's good to see him back, though. This is still for sale, also zoned for food service. Well, well, well. I want to see General Morgan's granddaughter. My husband's expression when he heard that General Cassius would be returning was oddly positive. I wish you could have seen it. Ah, yeah. The good sir, uh, General Morgan, can be a very scary person. But you know what? He, <laughs> he, 
he's totally under his wife's thumb. Yeah, he, he's got a tough exterior, but he's probably a big old teddy bear. Ah, it's the nice people who rescued me. Did you come to play? Sorry, kid. Places to go. People to talk to. Hey, Peter. Did you visit the harbor yet? Cargo offloading isn't common in the harbor as it used to be. Lately, the warehouse district's more being used as rental storage space. Great. Hey. Beyond this is one of the city's premier tourist spots, the harbor and the warehouse districts. It was closed off during the coup d'etat and orders of Colonel Richard. If you got the time, it might be worth going and taking a look. Oh, I will. But first, the cathedral. Hey. Worshipper. Oh, come on. Can't you stop squirming for one second? Churches are so boring. This is Granville Cathedral. It's just as incredible as the rumors say. Oh, have you come to pray too? The goddess of the sky watches over us all, always. Oh, Granville Cathedral is so big, love. Yes, you're right. Our house could easily fit inside of it. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Oh, are you the one he spoke of, perhaps? Who's he? I don't think I know anyone here. The goddess saves those who save themselves. May you find good guidance. What? Saves... He... What? Mysterious. Bishop Revel! The other day, when I visited the Sunktime Gate, I felt the earthquakes that everyone's talking about. Though they're over now, the folks inside must still be quite nervous. After all, earthquakes can happen suddenly with no warning. How about Tammy, huh? How are you and Tammy doing, huh? I think Tammy's, uh... She's, but she's just, it's just a bit much. And that, that's it. I'm sure Tammy's lovely, but... Obsessive is, uh... It's a strong trait. You either gel with it or you don't. Alright. Just checking. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. You, you're, you're well, well camouflaged. Phew, all done. I finally finished repairing the Hymen book. Things have gotten busy ever since Sister Ellen disappeared. I wonder if they'll send a replacement soon. Ah, uh, yeah, Sister Ellen's on other business. Well, well, well. You guys ready? Let's go harbor. The Gransel Port. Whoa! New territory! What's going on here? I like this place. It's my first time in a port. I'm excited. Ah, what a lovely lake. Indeed. Oh. It's about time to clean up and organize the warehouses. It's gonna start getting real busy around here. Is this Duncan? I hate having lots of free time, but being too busy is no good either. Uh, Alright, who else is here? Larry! Uh, I've been working here for two years. And recently they assigned me to oversee a new guy. I've been all jittery ever since. See this new guy? He's older than me. And on top of that, he's married! I thought maybe I'd try to act like I had tons of experience, but... What a joke! If I could act like that in front of a guy who's obviously way more experienced than I am. Larry, you're overthinking things. Dark worker. So this guy came up to me a bit ago and BAM! I got a fishing rod. Don't know why, but if someone wants to give me free stuff, I ain't saying no. Figured I might as well try fishing if I got it too. Nice. Well, enjoy, dudes. Get some big catches. What's up here? Worker. Technology is one of those things you sort of get better working with over time. I can never hope to compare to you, sir. You fade look alike. This is the management office for the warehouse districts. Is it? I'm going in. Hello? Felio. Oh, it's rare to see customers come without an appointment. Hey! You're the people who beat me at the casino in Ruan! Ah! <laughs> nice to see you too, I guess. Oh, okay, listen, please. After that, I, I tried making up for the money I lost with all kinds of gambles, but... A match with you was where my luck turns. When I realized everything I'd won had disappeared, well... Really? That's kind of sad. That's gambling for you. Yeah, I fully had figured it out sooner. I guess it's true of anything, but you should always know when to quit. I didn't, and I made things hard for my wife because of that. I'm gonna do all I can to make it up to her. That's the right attitude. This office here manages work in the harbor block. 
We'll take orders for transport on freight ships and use the rental warehouse. I love this. It's like Felio's little quest line. Started out, no job, good for nothing. Then he went gambling at the casino in Ruan, but he learned his lesson. I wonder what he would have said if we hadn't done that quest, since that quest was optional. We probably would have said something about gambling, but just not mentioning us. If you got some work to ask about, ask at the counter. Alright, Sand. No need to give me attitude. Alright. Oh, he goes further? Dude, I... What? I... I mean, I don't... You don't come to the Grandsville port very often, but... It's so big! Alright, alright. Let's... Let's have a look around. Are there people here worth talking to? Alright, we got someone. Hey, you want something? If you're looking to rent one of the warehouses, talk to the office. I'm gonna rent a warehouse. Only suspicious people rent a warehouse. Nothing good ever happens in a warehouse. Gotti. During the coup d'etat, the harbor was closed by the intelligence division. Thanks to that, ships that come in for loading had to wait on the lake for days. Once the harbor was reopened, we got real busy, let me tell you. I'm glad. This warehouse is a nice, peaceful atmosphere. Oh, my. Where's my daughter gotten off to now? Oh, I hope it's not your kid at the Royal Villa. Oh, no. We gotta find another lost child? Alright. What? Oh, hey. What are you doing? B what do you guys want? I'm not skipping work. But I'm patrolling to see if there's anyone suspicious around. Sure, buddy. Alright. Man. Warehouse. The perfect place to get mugged. Am I prejudiced against warehouses? I think I am. I don't know why, but it's like... Maybe I just played too many video games. It's like, warehouse is where you go to shoot up a gang, you know, and... Hey, girl. Mama! Where are you? Where are you? And I'm so sorry. Uh, anybody else here? Just looking around. I'm getting Ruan vibes from this. Let's check down here. Can I go on the... Oh, there's so much here! Rob. Hmm, oh, ships really are great. The romance of the open sea is something you can only understand if you've seen it on a boat firsthand. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, a horrible boat! Uh, kind of embarrassing to admit, but this is my first time seeing one. Huh, didn't realize you could pile this much stuff onto a horrible boat. It's the magic of technology. Check it out! Come to see a horrible boat? Heh, <laughs> go ahead. Look around as much as you'd like. Hmm. All ships- Oh, Duncan! All ships that come into the capital port have to pass through Ruan's Rubine River, but with Ruan missing a mayor, ship traffic inspection is getting delayed. Thanks to that, our work's a heck of a lot harder than normal. I'm the king of the world! Woo! There we go. I needed a moment. And then... You, mister! Man, what a gorgeous blue sky. You can see the chrome peaks clear as day. That's great. <gasps> I bet I could- I bet I could fish here. We could. I'm gonna need a new rods to get anything interesting, though. Just- Alright. One catch. Just one catch. That's all I ask for. Come on. Oh. Oh, th it didn't work. Okay. Well, I- okay. I guess lakes and rivers. It, it makes sense. Well- that was a failure, I never want to fish again, but we're continuing on. Come to sightsee in the harbor? You're free to look around, but don't get in the way of work. I wouldn't dream of it. Hey! Harbors have a great atmosphere. I'd really love to confess my love to my girlfriend in a place like this. And, uh, what are you talking about? Why are people hanging around the harbor? I, is it that, like, this, it feels like an active work environment, like a, like a construction site. So, what? Welcome! Want to see how I do my job while you're here? What kind of harbor is this? It's like a... It, oh, it's... Alright, maybe they just do things differently in Grand Soul. I've got a lighthouse. Oh, it's beautiful. Alright, that's that's the freaking harbor checked out. That's big! Man, is anybody hiding behind... Have I even... I haven't even gone behind here. Alright. I think that's about it. Whew! Alright. We do have... So we have the main office right there. And then we can head back to the west block. Man! It was fun seeing the harbor, though. 
just looking around for the first time. It was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. Look at all of these cute little little pigeons flying around. Mm -mm. Speaking of, we need to talk about an achievement right here. Look at this. We need to find bacon, eggs, and golden toasts. Now, I have it on good authority that in front of the church... Let me go back. And then, let me go back. We want to talk to Pigeon. There we go. Got him. Oh, it's croissant. That's my best pigeon sound. It's donuts. Chirp. Ah, I need to talk to Golden Toast. One of the one of them is named Golden Toast, but I don't know which. That speech bubble is just stuck there now. All right, let's see. Uh, hey, who are you? Hash brown. Chirp, chirp. Who are you? Pastry. Nyaun. Fumia. You're not a cat. Oh my gosh. All right, gonna try again. Which one are you all? Oh. Golden Toast! Chirp! Perfect. We got him. That should be... One out of three. Perfect. So, the others are all spread around the land, and we will have to go find them. It's just a strange achievement. Let's go North Block. Hello! Becker! Move over! Coming through! Got deliveries to make! Alright. Got something I was about to deliver. Your hands only. Man, you'd make the courier in Skyrim jealous. Bum, 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 bum. Helmuth. Even though fishing is my passion, my wife beat me in joining the fishermen's guilds. She's apparently been going to the lake pretty often while I've been away at work. Man, the gap between our abilities is only just going to keep getting bigger. Ah. You go, Norch. Hee <laughs> I bought... Uh, that's... Sorry, that's not the... That's... <laughs> I bought a new rod to replace my old one recently. I had been using the same rod since I started fishing, so I thought it was about time for an upgrade. <laughs> now then, what to do with my old rod? My husband only uses new top-class rods, you see, so I had to keep up. You, you fish, don't you? Huh? Well, some. Uh, how did you know? Well then, allow me to offer you this. Oh, bamboo fishing rod. Wow, th thank you. Make sure to catch plenty of fish with it. I will. Thank you, Norch. New fishing rod, new fish have been unlocked. Da, 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 da. Let's go, hotel. The Rowenbaum. Hey, uh, Fritz. Oh, Estelle. I haven't seen you since the birthday celebrations, I believe. Are you on business today? Please enjoy your stay. Huh? Is it just my imagination? It doesn't look too well. Perhaps it's because the non-aggression pact signing is drawing near. But lately I've received countless more inquiries about stays from foreign guests. Huh, <laughs> busy times are on their way. Hmm, is that all that's bothering you, Fritz? Let's see, what's going on here? Let's check out the rooms. Just barge into people's hotel rooms. Hope they're not in the middle of changing. And just announce our presence. As true RPG protagonists would. Whoops. All right, everybody's out seeing the city. Checks out, checks out. Still don't know how Sieg managed to open a window. We don't talk about that. Hello. Giselle. I've always wanted to stay in this hotel. It's so nice, isn't it? Hmm. Palmer. Our work at the castle, so the coup d'etat was a big deal for me. I've been investigating it since. We're in the clear now, but the scars of that case run deep. Yeah. Good thing someone solved it. Someone cool and handsome and awesome. Dad gets kind of lazy without a big event like the martial arts competition or the birthday celebration going on. He can't really run the family except when there's something going on. But, I mean, that's how it is, isn't it? After all, Mom's the real head honcho in our house. Yeah, go Mom! Martin's a little extra. Oh, how peaceful. Peace is so boring. I can't even muster up the will to work. That man is, really is trouble sometimes. I've got to get him to cheer up and go to work. He's not even going to work since he puts his board. How does your family go around? All right. I think that's everything here. Let's go front of the castle. Talk to the gate guards. 
Hello. This is my first time seeing Gransel Castle up close. Its presence and bearing is far more impressive in person than in photographs. I wonder if it's open. He's getting pretty excited since it's the first vacation we've had in a while. Hey, hi there! The capital's an amazing place, huh? I'm a fan of the Royal Guard, especially of Miss Julia, of course. Indeed. Quite the woman. Hmm, it seems like you could fish quite well here. Fish, you say? Ooh, it might be. Let's see. There are... Oh, I bet I could fish here. Hook, line, and sinker, everybody. Bamboo fishing rod. What's new? Frog, river snail, dumplings. I'm not sure what's new, really. Could I use river snail here? Let's just try out our new rod. It's just a rad new rod. What's not to like about it? Don't fail me. Free I... Sorry, I, I miss I misclicked. <sighs> Alright. Doesn't seem like this is a good spot. That's fine. You just don't want me to have fish. You don't want me to have nice things. Yeah, it's Dan and... Not Seymour, but it's something similar. It's because Seymour is at the... At least, um, Dan and... Uh, Alex! You're the victors of the martial arts competition, right? <laughs> it's been a while. Haha, uh -huh. what is it today? If there's someone you'd like to speak with, we can contact them immediately. Or would you like to tour the castle grounds? No, not exactly, but... It's been a while, hasn't it, you two? But princess Princess Claudia, I, I didn't know you were back. I came on a bit of a different business this time. I see. Uh, should you have business within the castle, just say so anytime. Yes, thank you very much. Ah, they're, they're the best. Good to see they're still on duty. Well then, that leaves only one district left to check. East Block. Have you heard? They finally reopened the castle to the public. It was closed during the coup d'etat. I, of course, recommend a visit to the Garden Terrace. The gentle winds of Valeria Lake and the scent of the green gardens are very comforting. <sighs> Trauma. Alright. East Block, History Museum. Did Jimmy ever get here? The History Museum. Yeah, this is it. Oh, Jimmy? Whoa. Hey, you're the bracers who saved me at size. What are you doing here? Ah, right. Delivering that artifact, huh? Yeah, it may have lost its power, but who knows what it might do after all. I'll entrust it to these guys. <laughs> Good call. If you'd also give up on treasure hunting and get a real job, that'd be even better. Ouch. But I'm afraid I can't. I suppose it'd be different if I could find something even more romantic than being a treasure hunter. <sighs> You're hopeless. Welcome! Welcome to the History Museum! Oh boy, it's weird being here. I'm just expecting to see Alba around the corner. Hmm. Oh? Y you Aren't you... Who are you again? <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> I'm Santos with the History Museum. I asked you to take photos of the tower in Ruan. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember now. So how'd it go after that? Find out anything about the tower device? No, embarrassingly, I haven't really had any success. Everything about it is just so unknown. However, we do know that the tower itself was built during the ancient Sumerian era. First, I suppose I need to check out what references we have in that area. Hmm, archaeology doesn't seem like the kind of thing that comes up with results that easily, huh? I guess all I can say is, good luck. Yes, yeah, so I'll do my best thinking of this as the first step to uncovering lost ancient knowledge. Indeed. I'm gonna make a breakthrough one day. Alright, let's go talk to the museum director. Hello. Professor Alba, who was staying here before, was quite the man. His theory about the Septarians, or Seven Treasures, was quite charming. I'd like to hear his opinion about the mysterious devices in the ancient towers that have reactivated recently. And apparently, he investigated the towers across the regions, after all. Professor Alba? Huh? Who was that? It seems familiar. Oh, no. I mean, yeah, she doesn't remember who met... Who she met after Joshua's... Thing. Yeah, she doesn't know. 
She's in the dark about Alba. Oh, poor girl. Let's go landing port, though. Landing port always makes me feel better. Hello. Thank you very much for your patronage. Should you have any business with our company, please enter the building over there. Well, I will, Finella. What's up? The non-aggression pact should be a big plus for the tourism industry. I want to call in all the foreign tourists now that there's a non-aggression pact. Lately, all the airships have been running according to schedule. During the coup d'etat, things were messed up with the coming and going of military ships and the closing of the landing ports. I'm finally free of dealing with claimants. Welcome, welcome to Liberal Orbital Ship Company. You, are you selling Liberal News Issues 4 Earthquakes Over? Central Factory declares size, size safe. Is the danger over? Yeah, is size safe from seismic activity? That's what everybody's asking. Everybody being me. I'm gonna save the liberal news for later. This episode's running a little long and I want to wrap up talking to everybody. Elden, why? Why? I came all the way to the capital, but why isn't the RC here? Well, it's getting outfitted with a new engine, dude. Keep up. Maybe that's a state secret. I shouldn't be saying that out loud. I've got to deal with the Calvardian Embassy soon. I'm going to negotiate with the Republican Ambassador and try to get permission to buy an airship of the same model as those scheduled liners. Exciting times. Tiffany! Our chief engineer is as weak-willed and unreliable as ever. <sighs> oh, wow. Well. I guess everybody with pink hair now has a fae-like voice. Um, for Tiffany's next job... Ah, oh, that's right. Could you order some orbital plugs? He doesn't seem that bad. Come on. Cut him some slack. Let's go back. I want to see if the, uh, the old lady's still uh, kicking it. There she is. My favorite. Maggie? Bo Bo Boilna. Okay, Maggie's in R Roland's. Oh, that symbol on your chest. Miss, you're a bracer, aren't you? Good work with your job. And very impressive at your age. Thank you. Isn't Mama going to come home soon? I'll do my best to wait, so... Oh, no. I found Nemo, but where's your mom? The Imperial Crest's got some real power behind it now that I've had the chance to see it up close. Hey there. Beyond this point is the Erebonian Embassy. No one may enter except those with official business. I've been told to keep security very tight now, especially with the signing ceremony approaching. I'm sorry, but we hope for your understanding. That's fine. Hopefully I get to take a peek there later in the chapter. Miss Schwartz of the Royal Guard was recently promoted to captain, I understand. Oh, oh considering her ability and success, this is only natural. All he ever talks about is Captain Schwartz. That's great. That's great. We got a guard by here, too. The sewer's currently off limits. Lately, we've had a lot more foreign visitors in the capital, you see. We're up in security to make sure they don't get lost and wander in. I don't mind. I don't mind at all, sir. That just narrows down the potential avenues of adventure. Uh, are these doors closed? Oh, so this is the Grand Arena. No, no one in ticket booth. Hey, yeah. Uh, apparently the Grand Arena is closed since they don't have any shows. A little sad, huh? Yeah, they just they can't put on shows quite as great as the ones where we were participating. It's only natural. Private act. Oh, hey, this is a Calvardian embassy. Sorry, but unless you have some business here, I'm afraid I can't let you enter. Ah, uh, I bet Sin might have a comment here and Olivier at the other embassy, but that's okay. A while back, I was being followed around by a man on the stairs in front of the department store. <laughs> I remember. That was creepy and scary. Yeah, let's screw that guy. Low life. Weirdo. I'd heard there was a good ice cream stand around here. It's right here. Phoebe. More like, what's a signing ceremony? Does it got anything to do with us? Basically, you know, it's like that, like, let's all get along, you know? Alright, don't know what their voices were like. I know people say I'm the purveyor of ice cream to the royal family, but that's just a dumb rumor. Though, if Lady Claudia ate my ice cream, I'd be happy to hear that. Chloe, have you had the ice cream here? Um, <laughs> actually, it was grandmother's suggestion. I was really happy to get to try it. Miss, you're good to go. You can, in fact, proudly say you're purveyor to the royal family. Huh? <laughs> That's great. That's great that we get special comments depending on who's in the party. 
Let's buy the ultimate ice cream. Two, 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 three flavors singing in harmony. Royal Gelato we know. Sunshine ice. High class ice cream with sun soaked oranges. And some moonlight ice. Moonlight drenched. Moonlight drenched apples. Sun soaked, I buy. Moonlight drenched? I'm getting a little skeptical. Clo, this is this, this ice cream's for you. Sunshine ice, moonlight ice, Ultima ice cream, just like that. Then, I wanna make myself some of those too. I got your recipe now. Put you out of business, I will. Moonlight ice, made, sunshine ice, made, and Ultima ice cream. Look at that. Dragon beans, royal. Dude, it looks freaking sick. That looks like more than three colors, to be fair. Man. Ba -dum -bum -bum. This is great. I'm eating ice cream in the capital. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no, not this place. Not the rest area in East Block. Oh please. I can't take this area. <laughs> this is quite the secret spot. Yeah. Alright. Trauma aside. What's going on here? When I visited Gransel to see the martial arts competition, I really came to like the capital. I even moved here because I liked it so much. It really is an interesting place. Next year, I'll totally be able to catch the martial arts competition and the birthday celebration. Is this the guy that you met during the tournament that we're like buddy-buddy with? Ah, oh, so sleepy. Maybe I should go get a pick-me-up at the West Block Coffee House. <gasps> I never stopped by the West Block Coffee House, right? No, I, I completely forgot. I never got a croissant or a coffee or anything. I, I actually need to remember that. For now, back at the, the... Anton, why are you here? In the end, everything is as it was. Today too, I'm pondering. So much pondering. I'm sure I will spend tomorrow pondering as well. No job, no girlfriends. Wonder if my life has a purpose. <laughs> Look, Anton, that cloud? Oh, oh, okay, it's more like that. <laughs> Look, Anton, that cloud? <laughs> Looks like Duke Dunan's hairstyle. <laughs> Terrifying. Terrifying. Truly. Back at the department store. Hey, Edel. Welcome, welcome to the Edel department store. Our store is ever striving to take down the Bose market. Hello? Well, Bloom, oh, did Bloom actually come here to the capital to look for a man for her son? I'm tired from walking around, so I'm going to take a break here. Oh, boy. All right. Seems like there have been earthquakes happening in size lately. I haven't gone in a while, but are Elmo's hot springs okay? They are now. The other day, everyone in the store went to see the famous Bose Market. Everyone in the market was working so hard. It was touching the sea. Uh, the golden rule to making the best tea is... I always get sleepy when it comes to anything with the name studying attached to it. Ah, no, no. All this effort is to reclaim the position of tea sales staff my sister stole from me. And her feet stink, right? And that must mean she sucks at selling tea, right? Ah, I'm not gonna fall asleep! All of this effort... Yes! Good to know. Firefly fungus. I'm gonna I'm gonna be big spender right here. I'm gonna buy so that I have 20 of every ingredient at the very least. I know. Whoa. Has Carl gone crazy? How can he afford can I afford that? I don't know. I might not be able to afford that. Some of these ingredients are very expensive here. Stuff like fresh milk. I should maybe not 99 fresh milk. I think 20 is a 20 is a good amount. Fresh milk has gotten more expensive. I thought that was cheaper in the uh, the other game. All right, that's, that's fine. Just gonna do some quick arithmetic and get ourselves up to a good amount of ingredients. We were unable to make one dish, but that's that was because of a monster part, as it usually is. That's usually the the bottleneck on the more fanciful dishes. And some flaky potatoes. Specifically the flaky variety. Some dirty carrots, specifically the dirty variety. Maple freaking sugar. 
Ah, yeah. Kibble salt, didn't. Look at this. 99 kibble salt, 99 maple sugar. See if I care. So I'm, I'm, I'm crazy. Never what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy some more fresh herbs. Gotta have dragon beans. In case dragons show up, we can appease them with beans. Black pepper. And red pepper. And some tender freaking white fish. Perfect. That's a lot of mirror spent, but we got lots of ingredients. I don't think we can make the seafood hot pot. We're gonna need that fish fillet. Rare ingredient indeed. Legendary. Welcome. The Eatle department stores everything from souvenirs to daily goods. What's for sale? The burn loose. Anti cold helmet. A helmet for using cold environments. Def 15 prevents freeze. It's kind of cool. It's actually better for Tita than the soft knit cap. Uh, I'm just in my head cannon. This looks even cuter. I doubt it, but I'm, that's what I tell myself. Perfect. Just like that. Welcome, you guys, tourists. I got lots of good souvenirs at nice prices. Nice. What do you? You got a cat tail? A themed accessory makes the wearer lighter on their feet. Oh boy. Alright. This is foreshadowing for accessories in future games too. Okay. How's the, how's the cat? Our, our cat collection is starting to look very good right now. Um, we might wanna... So we got cat suits, cat foot slippers, and now also the cat's tail. Interesting. We'll, 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 we'll play more with that. One of the heads of the coup d'etat, Duke Dunan, seems to be under house arrest by orders of the Queen. A person who's apparently the Duke's butler comes and shops her at the store from time to time. For some reason, he always... I was gonna say! <laughs> the only thing he gets is donuts, right? But for some reason, he always just buys donuts and comics. Oh my gosh, that... The Duke is so incompetent, it makes me angry. <laughs> gosh, I just... Oh, that man. That man make, it makes me mad. This is my first time in the capital, but what a large city. Indeed. And with that, I believe we stopped by... Well, we hit all the big spots that we wanted to hit. South block, west block, we're just gonna go to the coffee house. Then north block, we even checked out the harbor, east block. That's really good. Let's go Baral coffee house. Oh, is it Connor? The air Latin shop wasn't bad, but... Yeah, this cafe really is the best place to relax. If I get sleepy, just get some coffee. It's perfect for reading. And a croissant. Hey, Barrel. Barrel, I mean. Hey, I know that face. You're the bracer lady who's a friend of Niles, right? Welcome to Baral Coffee House, known for its coffee and rice curry. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. The curry of dreams? Oh, man. The nap killer cures sleep. Just one sip and feel the power of caffeine. And the herb sandwich, a classic. All right. Who's gonna get the coffee this time around? Nap killer. Uh, let's... let's Agate, Agate could go for, go for a coffee. Now, let's see. Curry of dreams. Ooh, boy. Potent curry, ripened to perfection. A flavor bomb. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Ah. Oh, that hit the spot. And finally, we learned to make... Nap killer. Ah, yes. Cup of coffee for the road. Got one of those. Very good. Well, thank you so much for your patience during my talk run around the city. But it's, it's been really fun to see Gransel again, to explore it, and we're really ready to head out to go on adventures outside of the city. But I think ending it right here in front of the main gates makes a lot of sense. We're gonna head to the Royal Villa in the next one. Find that missing kid. Make sure that everything's in order for the big non-aggression pact signing. As the stakes get higher than ever and the party gets more and more powerful. So, thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Carl. And this has been Trails to Completion. <laughs>